back behind you on your shoes. You even looked like you yelled back at one point. Uh, what was it like in the pack? Oh, okay. for a while? Yeah, no, I was pretty comfortable. There was, it was mostly just small little trips, but um, given my history, it makes me uncomfortable. So I think I just yelled back, stop, just stop clipping me, you know, like just relax. I came out a little more aggressive than that, but you know, at this point, I can't, I just can't have that happen. You know, getting in the front was a way for me to stay out of that trouble. And if I'm going to get clipped from behind, it's just, I just can't let that happen. So I'm just a little more vocal and I just have to stay on my ground a little more. <laughs> um, not really, but you know, it's just like I said, um, people are really tense and nervous going into these first rounds. There's a lot of people who aren't used to running in those scenarios, so. It's just nerves. How do you feel like that's changed you that instance last year when you went down? How has that changed you as a racer this year? You know, you can't think about it too much because then, you know, there's still a race going on and you still have to focus on what you're doing and what you need to accomplish in the race. Um, but it does just make me more aware of my surroundings and trying to put myself in positions um, where that's less likely. Obviously, you can't plan those things, but I try to be prepared. Do you think it's been a good thing that you experienced that? I mean, not ideal, but are you better because of it? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think it, it changed me one way or another. I got over it really quickly, and I just don't think about it one way or another. Excuse me? Yeah, you know, I actually wasn't planning on being in the front. It just kind of happened, and I'm comfortable being up there, so I just went with it. But thanks for the questions. I'm going to cool down, and we'll see you all later. Sorry. <laughs>